Intravenous Regional Anesthesia. After surgical preparation of the affected limb, an intravenous catheter is inserted close to the surgical site, ideally in a retrograde manner, and fixated in place. As part of a multimodal approach, intravenous regional anesthesia is indicated for procedures involving the distal limb, such as mass removals, biopsies, digital amputation, foreign body removal, and laceration repair. It is preferable to still use general anesthesia when using this technique. Using an elastic bandage, the limb can be exsanguinated to improve the intensity of the blockade. The bandage is applied firmly in a distal to proximal direction. Pulses are not palpable when the tourniquet is applied in a proper manner. This will aid with hemostasis during the surgical procedure. A pneumatic tourniquet is applied to the proximal limb. This will allow for greater control over the amount of pressure applied to the limb, thereby minimizing the risks and discomfort to the animal. The cuff pressure should be 50 millimeters of mercury above the systolic blood pressure to ensure adequate occlusion. The elastic bandage is removed and 2.5 to 5 milligrams of 1% lidocaine without epinephrine is injected slowly. The use of bupivacaine is contraindicated due to its cardiac effects. The intravenous catheter is removed for surgery if necessary. Anesthesia of the limb distal to the tourniquet is achieved within 10 minutes following the injection. The tourniquet application must be restricted to less than 90 minutes to avoid tissue damage. Residual analgesia may persist for up to 30 minutes following the removal of the tourniquet and the local anaesthetic will produce systemic effects once the tourniquet is removed. The operator must be cognizant of these potential adverse effects. Another form of post-operative analgesia is recommended.